son of mine, today is the start of the rest of your life. You never know when opportunity may knock at the door. Ah, oh, a mum, you're interrupting my dreams. Is this the one about the girl or the gold again? Dreams are all I've got. It's not like I've got anything to get up for, is it? I haven't got a job, no matter how much I try to get one. It's just rejection after rejection. I can't face it anymore. Don't be like that. It's a beautiful day. You just never know. Oh, Mum. Get out of bed and stop feeling sorry for yourself. OK, OK, I'm getting up. Who could that be at this time of the morning? How early is it? Hello? Ah, oh, Sadie. You must be Sadie. It's super to meet you at long last. Kazim, may he rest in peace, has told me so much about you. And his final wish is to make you and Aladdin sure you are taken care of. Kazim? May he rest in peace. He never mentioned you, Mr... Nicobar, just Nicobar. Kazim, may he rest in peace, was my bro, my dearest bro. I went into the world and have seen many things. Who's this stiff? Mr Fancy Pants? Uh, do you like my suit? You could have one too. I'm about to offer you the deal of your life. Women and gold will fall at your feet. Gold? Aladdin, I would like you to join me and become a merchant. A rep, as it were, to sell shares in mining all over the country. Gold? Some places will be dangerous. But you will be living the dream. It's what your father would have wanted. Oh, sounds like the opportunity of a lifetime. Is it safe? Will you be gone long? <coughs> Perfectly safe. <laughs> cough, cough. Oh, gold? <laughs> And just to make sure you're safe, I'm going to give you a magic ring. A magic ring? For protection. Protection? I didn't think it was a magic ring you'd need. So you're offering me gold, women at my feet, and a magic ring? <laughs> sure, why not? Count me in. <laughs> Why is it that I always have to peel the potatoes? My hands are red and sore, my thumb is cut and bleeding, and I've had enough of it. Still, any day now, my Uncle Nicobar will be getting me that well-paid new job. Just think of it. Me, travelling all over England. Now, now I've got to dry my hands. Um, yes? Yes? Who is that? Uh, hello again, Aladdin. This is Uncle Nick. Good to speak to you. Are you well? Fine, thanks. I I'm ready to start work as soon as you've got a job for me. Good, good. Uh, well, that's why I'm ringing you. You see, I have this very important mission in Holy Moorside. Well, just outside, in fact. Just up the road, there is a cave. It's called Cattle, I believe. I think there is quite a large amount of lead and even gold in those rocks deep in the cave, which may be able to sell to investors. I see. You want me to look for lead and gold in the rock itself? Yes, yes, that's the idea. See if it's worth investment. Farmer Turnbull thinks it might be. Oh, and which, while you were there, bring back some old silver. Turnbull is giving me. There's a pair of candlesticks, a teapot, and an oil lamp. I used that lamp. Uh, it started to, to, to leak, so make sure you bring it. No problem. I can do that. I will start first thing in the morning. Good. I knew I could rely on you. Well done. Thanks, Uncle Nick. Goodbye. Goodbye, take care, ha <laughs> ha. This must be it, Cathole Cave. What a trek. Let's hope it's been worth it and that I find the lamp that my kind 
Uncle Nicobar has told me about. Uncle Nicobar, I'm in the cave. It's eerie, but I'm searching in all the rocky crannies. I'm looking all over. I found the lamp. Ha ha! Good lad, I knew you'd make it. Now take the lamp and rub it twice and you will find rubies glistening in the rocks. Uncle, Uncle, I've rubbed it, but everything's become dark and the entrance is shrouded over. I can't even see how to get out. Ha ha ha! You stupid boy. Did you really imagine that you were going to become the master of the lamp so easily? What do you mean? What do I mean? Ha <laughs> ha! I've tricked you! Now I know where you are and where the lamp is! Ha <laughs> ha! I'll be arriving shortly in my helicopter and whether you see daylight again, who knows? <laughs> why? Why did I ever believe that greasy character Nicobar was my uncle with his white teeth and gold earrings? What shall I do? Ta-da! Aladdin, I am Slip on Easy, the genie of the ring. You rub the ring and I appear and will obey your every command. Slip on Easy, what a wonderful name. I'm a prisoner here in this cave and Nicobar, my uncle, is on his way to steal this magic lamp from me. Have no fear, Slip on Easy is here. I will have you out of here in no time. What's this? A carpet? Yes, a magic one which will fly you straight home to your mum, Sadie. I'm flying, flying over Holymore side. Oh look, there's that dastardly uncle of mine. He'll have a shock coming to him. Aladdin, thank goodness you're home safe and sound. Come inside and have a cup of tea. What's that in your hands? Looks as though it needs a good clean. What time do you call this? Where the dickens have you been? Your dinner's been in the oven for hours. Hmm? Sorry, Ma, but I've been, um, well, a bit tied up. Tied up? Tied up? What with? And whatever is that filthy thing in your hand, just look at the muck on it. This, it's the... Take uh, it off the table, you idiot. Give it here. Careful, Ma. It's, well, it's magic. It has magic powers. Magic powers? This old thing? Oh, no, it hasn't. Oh, yes, it has. <laughs> Careful, what are you doing? Giving it a bit of a rub, of course. A nice dollop of glit will do the trick. Hey up, me ducks. My <laughs> name is Rise and Shine. Give me an order and the pleasure's mine. What the hell? Give you an order? How do you mean? I'm the genie of the magic lamp. I'm mostly Dutch, but most happy to do camp. Just let me know. <laughs> what, what is your heart's desire? And to be on its way. I swear, I'm no liar. What? Anything? Anything at all? Seems so. Let's start with something simple. How about tickets for Strictly Come Dancing? Your wish is my command, my bonny lass. I swirl around and see your wish has come to pass. See, Ma, look. There on the table, a pile of tickets. Give those here. Oh, yes, I thought the ointment would be littered with flies. Never trust a man wearing large amounts of bling. That's what your Auntie Clorinda always says. <laughs> they are the right tickets. I, I, I can see from here. There, look, it says... Oh, they're strictly tickets, all right, but for the wrong day. We're going to your Aunt Clorinda's anniversary party. I've had my dress for ages. Forgive me, Mum. An overfight, oversight indeed. But one more swirl, and here's the date you need. Hmm, that's better. There might be something in this malarkey after all. Can you clean ovens? This is a task that's well within my power. Though by the looks of it, it may well take some hour. Cheeky blighter, I'll have you know, Mr Sparkleboots. Ma, we're wasting time. 
surely we can think of something more exciting than a clean oven. How about, how about some gold cufflinks? They'd look very well on my... Um... Gold cufflinks, diamonds too, will surely grace your cuff. But surely, Panto Man, that cannot be enough. I have always... I have always fancied a silver Porsche, like the one Jeremy Clarkson drove on Top Gear, and a Harley Davidson for days when I fancy a trip to Matlock Bath. We could have anything, anything we fancy. Whatever you desire, it is in my power. It seems that now you have the chance to realise your dreams. Hey up, Arsal. What are you doing in here? What does it look like? Drowning my sorrows, of course. It is Saturday tea time, and I wish you wouldn't call me Sal. It makes me sound like a right pansy. My name is Salami. <laughs> <laughs> Too much of a mouthful, that, and I don't mind if you call me Shuri. Shuri. Short for Shurizo. Anyway, serves you right if you're down in the dumps. You should have supported the Spyrites. Not one of those useless teams from over the border in Yorkshire. It's not just that. I've lost my job and my girlfriend's walked out on me. Well, there's not much call for Pete's at Delivery Boys who've only got a bicycle. Not in Chesterfield, is there? And you're probably better off without Lazy Lily. Tell you what, why don't you go out to our Aladdin's palace, ask him to find you a job. I bet there's lots of upmarket totty going spare around there as well. <laughs> Aladdin's palace? You mean our cousin has taken... Over the old cinema on a uh, jawbone hill. No, stupid, haven't you heard? Our cousin, who used to be a regular down the job centre, has gone up in the world. He's only gone and married Princess Nazima. So is she one of the Spice Girls? No, she's the Emperor's daughter. She was all set to marry the Vizier's son. But then Aladdin comes along and suddenly that's all off. She's fallen for our soppy cousin. I wouldn't mind, but... I never got an invite to the wedding, and as you is not as good looking as me, I don't know how he's wrangled it. I always thought he was a dozy so and so, but there's no accounting for women's tastes. But what did you mean about a palace? Oh, it's a magnificent palace, a place. Every room and suite, even the garage, an integral ball, an integral ballroom, its own gym, jacuzzis, hot tub, everything you could wish for. And it's up, and it's at Hollymore side. Wow. Did you get planning permission out there? And where did the money come from? You can't have robbed the bank. They don't have any money these days, do they? <laughs> Nobody knows how he could afford it. I think it's got something to do with that weird bloke he's going around with. I don't know where else, he, where he comes from. Just seems to appear from nowhere. Yes, he told me he had a new friend now, but I thought it was a woman. I'm sure her name was Jeannie. Trust you to get things wrong. Come on, you can buy me a pint and I'll tell you about the Spyrite's magnificent win today. Oh, what a change in my fortunes since I've married my dear <coughs> Aladdin. How lucky I've been, how much better than, than now my life with that rogue would have been. <coughs> Who on earth can that be at the palace at this unearthly hour of the day? I've hardly had time to put on my face. <laughs> <laughs> and tuck away a good breakfast. All right, all right, bide your time. Keep your shirt on. I'm coming as fast as I can. Oh, my word, what a stranger looking fellow this is. And pushing a cart full of lamps. And what can we do for you, sunshine? Are you kosher 
or one of these um, scamps, scallywags. New lamps for old, new lamps for old. Bring out your old and, and swap them for gold. Oh, what a good wheeze. You're going to please. I've got one right here, given by my dear Aladdin, whose style is quite natty. Oh, that lump of yours is so grubby. Take your pick from the beauties I've got. Your hubby will love you forever when he finds out that lump of yours got shot. How kind, sir, to make such an offer. So many to choose from as well. I'll take the gold one with the rubies on, the finest that Argos could sell. <laughs> Here you are, lady. You won't regret it. And I just take that tat off your hands. I'll take a close look in this corner. Oh, that thing, the grime on it stands. Rise and shine, rise and shine. Come at my command. Abracadabra cuts no ice. When rise and shine's around. I am here at your command. Tell me what you're after. I've had some stupid wishes and yours can't be any after. Take this palace and inside all its goods and chattels. Carry it away with it to Scumthorpe, scene of battles. <laughs> Goodness me, where has my palace gone? It was here a minute ago. I will summon my faithful Slip and Easy. You called me, Master. Slip, old chap. Thank goodness you've come. Someone's stolen my palace and my wife, Princess Nazima. My superpowers tell me, Master that your home is now a semi-detached palace in Scumthorpe. Sadly, I am unable to undo the magic spell. Dear in me, that will have knocked a bit off the market value. Here, Slip, so we can tackle that evil Nicobar face to face. Oh, sorry. Your wish is my command, Master. We're there. Gosh, it does look a bit run down compared with the fair town of Chesterfield. And my palace makes Nicobars look a bit, well, social housing. Master, that gives me an idea. I will make Nicobar subject to the bedroom tax unless he returns your wife, Princess Nazima, unharmed. You complete varlet, Aladdin. I cannot pay the bedroom tax. I have 809 spare bedrooms. Here, take back the princess and relieve me of this vile tax on the poor. Thank goodness you're okay, darling Nazima. But sad... Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But sadly, Master, I cannot do a U-turn on the bedroom tax without the help of the lamp. Here, take the lamp. Just give me back my benefits now. <laughs> I think, I think, Nicobar, we would be best if we send you as far away from here as we can. <laughs> Master, I have vaporised Nicobar to the Cayman Islands where he will be terrorised for eternity by evil tax inspectors and Margaret Hodge. Flip, you have been wonderful. Now I have my beautiful Princess Nazima back and my wonderful palace. Uh -huh. And you have the lamp back, Master, for major mag magic is once again possible. Let's all go back with, to the palace, to fair Chesterfield, that will double its value. And I think I'll take Nicobar's palace so I can use it as a shed. 
then eventually it will be suitable to give a home to all my children and grandchildren. It will be done, Master. Thank you, Slip on Easy. How wonderful. Now we will be rich, famous and happy forever and a day. Hurrah! 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 Hurrah!